60 diesels. Um, so today we are Kangoo repairing on a fixie fixie on a Wednesday. Um, just a quick update on this. We, between me and Collins, the bearded explorer, who obviously owns this top quality machine, have decided that basically we've priced up the bits to replace, repair the nasty little 650 that's died and decided really, sadly, it's not worth the effort. So what we're doing at current is acquiring an 850, make her a bit faster like, um, to go in it rather than spend a load of money fixing the 650 when you might as well have an 850 because you've got 200 cc's more of power but what we're going to do now anyway is whip back over there and attend to all this rubbishness attached to this little Renault Kangoo four-wheel drive that I acquired so that we can get it MOT ready and in for a test. <laughs> So, so far, two front struts, uh, one's got broken coil spring, bought two coil springs, not pissing around at it. Um, I reckon I've got one gammy wheel bearing or some noise, so we'll work that out, both hubs are off. And one of these lower arm joints is nadgered, so same again, bought them in pairs, I'm just going to chuck two in because it's easier. Uh, with minor oil leakage due to the fact that some cretin had put the um, spinnable drive shaft end together, gator together with... Um, zip ties instead of the correct metal fitting so we'll come out here in a minute and clear that up but anyway so that's the front of a kangoo taken off what we're going to attend to now is the shitty exhaust at the back i've got one of these which in theory is supposed to be for this i'm not 100 percent sure it's actually going to fit correctly but all can be adjusted it um, doesn't look quite right to me at all but anyway it's got to be better than that load of old junk just there so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this absolute disaster off and then work on making this somehow uh, fit because yeah top quality ebay product right, we'll throw in that top quality load of rubbish i can go in the scrap somewhere so it's quite obvious that this is not going to fit without being adjusted. So if you buy a back box off of eBay for your four-wheel drive can go and they send you one of them, it, it ain't going to fit, not unless you make it fit. So cutting plan, what I'm going to do, I'll put my new coil spring in the other day. So that's the MOT fail for the rear. Apart from um, repairing this, an idiot to put the exhaust, but that's easy. What I'm going to try and do now is get the remnants of this flange off of here. So I don't think these parts are going to undo and then try and adapt that top quality thing to being exhaust. Anyway, more time lapsing, let's see what happens. So what we sort of plan we come up with, obviously I've just stacked this off, it's completely pointless waste time because I could have just taken it off, cut it off. So these two manky bolts are designed to be captive. That's fine. We can beat them out with a large hammer. So I've got to charge. I mean, I don't know whereabouts in the world that this fits a four-wheel drive kangoo, because it definitely doesn't. Let's get this sort of... I mean, the mount for it is there. So one would assume that, it's, that it sort of sits, I don't know, there, maybe? I'm going to have to go and look at some photographs of a four-wheel drive kangoo to figure this out, aren't I? So we've got to get a pipe over here, like that. That might work cut off to do that. And then, obviously, we can't have a silencer like this. So this silencer is either after, going to have to go, I reckon, on its end, there, and then turn this round. I mean, that's, that's just nowhere near people. 
We're not even the. I mean, it wouldn't even go out just straight out the back, would it? If it was there, then that's not going to work, is it? Rub it. Honestly, so you've got a mount there and a mount there. Do a thing on this. Oh, I say these parts fix people. I'm getting a bit sick of buying stuff that people tell you fit and then doesn't. Yes, it does. Right. We're doing now coil springs. So, oh, there we go. Come on, teacher. There are a nice bit of Chinese in for you. So, what we're doing is we have one prop top quality boom good coil. At the point, I don't actually think I'm going to need to use the coil spring compressor to take its part. And obviously, the other one is all right, but oh, yeah, I bought a pair. So, sod it, we'll have a pair on the top struts or on it. Yeah, they're not bad. So the bearings on the top of the struts are good. Stack this lot up over here. And what we're going to need to do is swap this absolute load of rubbish out. So, broken at the bottom. Also at the top. Pucker. So, we need to replace it with this. Make sure this rubber gets in thing is it should be, so that needs to be on there like that. It doesn't really look terribly rocked, does it? And dragging that round with it. Let's have a look. What have got there? And I think we're wide at the top and small at the bottom. That will make more sense. So. This on top of here, check this is fixed. Yeah, it's like we're somewhere in there. Right, a bit of squishy squishy in there, you know. There's definitely some squishy squishy in there. So this is a hydraulic coil spring compressor. Very handy thing, better than those some nasty screw clamp dangerous things that we used to use. Um, not the best quality. I mean, there is a bit of Chinesium going on here, but we'll stand on this in a minute and we'll do to see what it does. So obviously, try not to stand that side of it because if it's going to go anywhere, it goes that way. And um, if you're a man, obviously, you know where it's going to hit you. We've all been there. It really hurts. So it's still securing that on the top. What we probably can do is whizzy whizzy whacka whacka then. Lovely. Right, perfect. One coil spring changed. Flip that forces off of it. Will that come out of there? Yes. So, one done. Take out spill, so that gives us nice top coil mount. Bearings are all right. Stop making all the noises. And basically, we're just going to do the same thing. We've um, obviously fixed our shock absorbers. They'll be all right for a minute. Um, our wheel bearings appear to be good. We have got to um, sort on the drive shaft there, where the, we've got a gator that bolts the gear gearbox, and there's like a spinning bearing holder on the end of it. Now, that's supposed to have a nice metal zip clip on it and someone had used a zip tie and that's what fell off and tripped oil all over the place earlier on and then we're down to these so these were in it and if you go on ebay these are said to be renault kangoo 4x4 lower arms that they are not they are renault kangoo two-wheel drive renault front lower arms those are four-wheel drive ones so these have a two bolt fixing on the end obviously and a changeable lower arm joint they are pressed tin whereas these ones are big cast lumps obviously because it's more of a sort of a 
Rufty Tufty vehicle with a pressed in joint at the end. So we've managed to find those pressed in joints, but they are coming from somewhere in Europe. So we're waiting on them. So sort of none of that lot can go back on. I, um, the exhaust quandary, what I've decided to do, rather than chop up 85 or whatever it was, quid's worth of silence that I don't think is gonna fit, which is, where is it? It's rubbish, we're sending that back. This can go back, same again. Sadly, because I didn't have the original silencer, we only had the horribleness. You saw, I looked at that eBay picture, I thought, actually, it's possibly it might go up over an axle. And, and it said, 01 to 10, 4x4 four four Kangoo rear box, 80 quid. Um, no, that's nowhere near what you need. So I've managed to, I was talking to a load of people, I have a photograph, I'll add that now. should be on there and um and basically it's a silencer with an in and out pipe on the same end so it actually comes up from here up over the axle into here got a box going that way and then the two pipes are one up over one out and it hooks on this mount here and this mount here so the other bits i am waiting on as we'll see these lovely uh, uh dive shaft joint and uh, cv boots dive shafts are fine CV boots are rubbish, so they haven't turned up yet. And then also, while we're at it round the front here, the, um, the steering rack gator on that side, as you can see, is rubbish. That's had its day. I think there was about 10 times too much oil in the gearbox, because about five litres came out, and I don't think it should have that much in it. The drain bung's only here somewhere. I think we might have been cretined there as well, which would explain why it's decided to have a pot with a little Peugeot underneath it. It's decided to have a bit of a dribble all over me bonnet. Anyway, let me just spin this camera around. Right, so as you've seen, that's that lot assembled. Now, obviously until I get some more bits, we're a bit stuck. So I'm waiting on some lower arm joints from somewhere Eastern Europe, Europe somewhere. Um, I need some steering rack gaiters, they're on their way. Um, I've got some, obviously, some rear drive shaft gaiters, because they were a bit technical, they're on their way. Um, and then, I reckon we might be somewhere near Kangoo Assembly, so we can probably manage that on the third one. So we'll quickly whip it together, once I've made an, found or made an exhaust, because I'm going to need either one that fits or one with where the pipes both come out of one end and obviously the pipe inside goes round that's why i can't cut that one up so we can whip the kangoo together and then we can get the kangoo off the ramp in for an mot and then the little peugeot needs to go up outside out here the back axle comes out and then hopefully if the weather gets a bit better we can get welding on the peugeot so we'll get project peugeot finished um but at the moment it's all a bit crazy what I might just do, I'll give you a tour around and then you can see currently what I'm up against. There is stuff everywhere around here. I suppose it's probably best to start. Almost assembled transit engine. Got to do that. That's the next couple of days. Got to get the man back his transit. Um, this was basically Tom's last job. So he, you would have seen, was, there was a screen panel chucked in this a while ago. So the screen panel has been uh, painted blue. The windscreen has been put back in. Uh, front discs, pads, lower arm joints, um, and then obviously it's um it's been for an MOT and it's passed, so that's leaving. We'll also put some proper sized tyres on it rather than rubbish tiny ones. Um, this is due back in a minute. She's re-emerged from wherever she disappeared for for about a year, so that's got to be painted and reassembled. So it, all the body work is sort of ninety percent there. All the steel work is done, as you can see. So that's a coat of yellow paint. That's a few late nights for me. We um. We obviously had to have a bit of a reorganised because it's been living up there for ages. So we had to get the Peugeot van alive, out, and then that off there. And then we decided best bet was put the Beetle up there because that's got to be disassembled somewhere soon. Um, and now this is on the button, has a battery and moves, so that'll make that life easier. Uh, we put this one on hold at the moment because, as you can see, you haven't even seen a video on that yet. That's got some fairly massive structural issues. Um, this is due a coat of paint. Uh, we've got the windscreen chiselled out of it at the moment, so that is on the list. And if we go this way, 
out here. Uh, massive Luton. You'll have seen me rebuild ages ago that I never quite got back to. So what I've done there, let's go around this way. Well, we do this one first. This belongs to one of our lovely lady customers. Um, it's got some welding attention needed in a few places for an MOT. So the screen's got to be quickly popped out because that's cracked at the top and it's leaking. Screen frame, frame tidied up. Uh, sills done. Screen, new screen put in. Um, and I think there's a few more bits on this side that need tending to. I did get me four wheel drive Mercedes turbo diesel out, but I'm never going to get to touch that. I'm not talking about that scrap. Um, so here, obviously, there's the five cylinder, the, the five tonner. It's got the head off. That's going into. I'm going to drop that off tomorrow to be skimmed. And then we had another six four six with basically the same problem. So heads off on that one, stripped, ready to go in. Heads off on that one, stripped, ready to go in. We've rebuilt this thing, I think, since you've seen it last. So it's had the entire front of the cabs all painted. Doors, wings, bonnets, all been done nicely. Uh, top of the roof is repaired and is not painted. And I've got to chuck some back lights on it. They're here now, so I can crack on with that. And out here, uh, obviously, Project Riot. Um, so we have a Transit Sonton engine. That's got to go back in. We have another Transit with a Nadget engine. Funnily enough, that's next on the list. This man apparently is appearing and taking this away. Now it's MOT'd. Um, <coughs> past this. <coughs> We're going to have to put this aside for a minute because you not allowed to play with your own stuff. Same with that. Got to sort of water leak on my camper van. Do a gas certificate for it because um, I've managed no camping in two years since I finished it. So that is to go. That's going on eBay. Um, anyone off an LT Facebook page will recognise this. This came in with a load of issues. That is pretty much sorted now. That's done. Um, one of my good customers um, landed me with a Mini for an MOT, that's tomorrow. Then round here we've got, I think this is a six ton Renault. Um, it's not registering its coolant temperature sensor, which puts it in limp and makes it a hopeless thing to use. And that's on this week's light thing, that'll be fun. That's a load of engine wiring harness stuff. The MOT has just expired on the world's cheapest at 413, so that's due a bit of love. That's here as well. We're not even talking about that. We're just going to leave this lot parked here. Oh, this is in. This is customers, uh, managed to shear his heat plugs off. And we'll get into that one. Uh, we're not talking about that. And we're not talking about that. Or any of that in there, that can just stay there a minute. Um, golf's still here, because no one ever turns up and pays for it. Land a wagon I'll get to one day. That's not for sale. It belongs to Dom's ex missus That's on the list. We've got to finish it. He was going to do it, so I'm going to do it and give it back. And I reckon, I think we're, apart from, yeah, I think, oh no, the TT, TT, finished, due a clutch, it's all done. But then the clutch started slipping, standard spec, because that's got to go to France. There's this thing in, this is customers, it's got a rotted off injector and diesel piddles through it. So, but the bolts that hold the injector into the head are also rusted off, so that'll be exciting. Um, and I think, we'll get to that one day, we'll put clutch in that. That's on the list. I think that's about it. Oh, Christ, that's only like three hours' work for a good mechanic, isn't it? That's me done. I'm going to go load some cylinder heads, disappear off to the cylinder head people, try and have a reasonably sensible end of day instead of being here till 10 o'clock at night, which is the current. So um, I'll see you on Sunday. We're going to try and do some description of Willard Start. It might be a bit agricultural. Um, but you will see. So um, we'll see you Sunday. This is Wednesday. Out, 60 diesels, thank you very much.